Good morning, everybody. It's uh, day 19, getting closer, closer to that 30 day goal. Um, and it's Saturday, and it still feels weird to be up this early on a Saturday. It's just kind of that mental thing. But um, contacts dried up, so I'm sporting my glasses today, letting my eyes breathe. And uh, I keep thinking about how I've been like training, it seems like, to become a morning person. And uh, I keep hearing the arguments about, you know, well, if you're naturally a night person, then just go with that. Um, but when I think back about it, like, thought kind of hit me this morning, like, I kind of trained to be a night person too. Like, I don't know if I was naturally a night person, but. Like I made myself one, I remember, especially in college, you know, just being up late in general and socializing and all that stuff. Um, but in my 20s, I remember I became a night person for my career too. It was like, I was getting so much praise and recognition for my career in my corporate job that uh, I would just work constantly. And so I would also stay up really late too and either use that time to keep working or use that time for just like me, it seemed like. And then I'd also like wake up like somewhat early in the morning sometimes so I can continue working. But uh, because I worked in retail, you know, my hours allowed me to sleep in a little more. But, uh, but like I was working nonstop. So it's like I kind of trained myself to like go on very little sleep, which is not a healthy idea. Um, and be a night person too, it seems like, uh, and to the point where I was like, I'll share this, I've shared this before, like I was drinking 15 cans of sugar-free Red Bull a day, uh, from like the age of like 25 to 30, like that's a lot of Red Bull, like 15 cans, imagine that, like, and that was to keep me going and, you know, I was, uh, uh, taking ADHD medicine back then too. Uh, and so I was constantly going, going, going and never sleeping, it seemed like. And I was just always on the move. Um, so I had a lot of unhealthy habits. I mean, granted, like I really enjoy being a night person, but I, I have to think like whether or not I was naturally one or not. I don't know. I think I really pushed myself to be one for quite a while, just like I'm challenging myself to be a morning person. Uh, the one thing that I do know is that my snacking is the worst on like nights because it seems like once I stay up past a certain point, like once I'm up past like, like midnight, like all of a sudden my body's like, Oh, we're going to do this. Like we're staying up late. Like we need carbs and sugars right now. Like specifically speaking, we need a gallon of ice cream, <laughs> you know? And so, I used to have a saying though, and it was like a, something I joke about with my friends, like nothing good happens after midnight, uh, except for pancakes. Pancakes are always the best thing that happened after midnight. Um, but even that's, it's not good for you at that time of night. But, uh, so yeah, like less snacking I'm noticing. Um, but yeah, cause I, I'm, I'm thankful for it too, because uh, even though I'm in Maine right now and it seems like putting on a little extra weight is helping me stay warm. Um, I prefer not to gain too much. So that's kind of my ramble though this morning is just the thought of process of like whether or not I was naturally a night person or not. Um, did I train myself to be that way too? Just out of some bad habits and also out of, did I become a night person because I was starving for extra time for myself? And that just seemed to be the easiest place to find it was at night uh, at first. So now I'm finding it in the morning. So onward in the journey. So have a wonderful day, my friends. Live with a courageous heart. Have a great weekend. Bye.